<laughs> it's been a long three three years. I, I never actually expected to play for Italy because I um, when I first came it was just something that just came up and it was um, uh, the opportunity that was best for me and my family at the time. Nice! Pity. Good chat. You tell me you got last, I leave the last. All yours. That call from Kieran when he um he when he did call me, I just um because it was just a random call, I didn't really know too much about him. After that chat with him, he just kind of convinced me. Um, probably it only took me like two days after to just decide, yeah, maybe that's probably my best move. So me and my family um, ended up loving the lifestyle here and then enjoyed the footy and the coach Kieran Crowley. So um, he's probably one of the main reasons why I also stayed. I would have never imagined to play for Italy, to be honest, um, because I was my dream was to go back home to Australia and play again. Yeah, just because it was my birth country and it was uh, it was my dream to play for them. But you know, things don't always pan out the way you expect. Go go go! Go go I I couldn't have chosen a better country. Like if I had the choice now to choose Italy or Australia, for me it wouldn't be any. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't change. Just because man, I've fallen in love with this country and. Yeah, they've uh, they've they've uh, given back to me. Good. Nice, Eba. Nice, Eba. Good. Good stuff. Nice, Eba. I've got two young, beautiful girls, um, Tahir and Azara, four and five. Um, it was a little bit tough spending the birthday alone, but um, you know, uh, thankfully for you know uh, video time or FaceTime, um, uh, make, makes it obviously a bit easier. But yeah. A message for Monty. Happy birthday, brother. <laughs> see, you, see you later in, uh, in the room. Maybe we will watch a film together. Rumi. <laughs> Monty, I love you. Happy What's birthday. It? Happy birthday. I love you. You're fucking slowly. He's not even Monty, he's just slowly and he knows it. So his name, firstly, his name is Slowly. Uh, nothing really. Oh, I love you, brother. Uh, yeah. I think your Italian is quite impressive now. It's really way better yeah. than Steven's one. Yeah, I didn't ask for so, your life story, man. So, just <laughs> happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday, brother. Hope you enjoy your Ben and Jerry's. I'll keep that on the down low, though. Um, skinnies are a little bit high at the moment. No, they called me slowly. Um, last year, I packed on a little bit of weight. Probably about, like, seven, eight kgs. And... Um, yeah, definitely got a little bit slower last year, but um, yeah, and the name's stuck ever since I uh, packed on that weight, so the boys call me uh, sl Slowly Yuani, so yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I've been spending maybe the last three, four years with these boys, so yeah, they know me pretty well and I know them pretty well, so yeah, I'd, I'd call them family. Nacho, go to the Nove! 40, 40! Stay, 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 stay. Stay. Yes. Stay, 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 Fuzo, Fuzo, stay. Stay, come here, stay, come here. Yeah, if they're out like this, mean you have to come closer, and uh, we just control there. You know, like um, I, I actually never expected to to make it uh, like as a professional rugby player because after school I, I did struggle quite a bit you know, when I went to France and. Um, Long story short, you know, I just, I, I didn't think I was going to end up anywhere just because I, I struggled with the pressure. You know, having my father and Digby as an influence was just uh, massive on me and um, Digby was someone that I looked up to and um, it, was, it was almost someone that I tried to be like, but it didn't really work well in my favour. So um, when I was able to just, you know, go on my own path and, and do my own thing and uh, for him to call me and say, you know, He's so proud that I made it. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. In in the past, I used to like be someone who was like quite serious, um, and I think that's where I kind of like struggled with my rugby a little bit, only because I like all of a sudden I kind of had um, changed my way of thinking. Like when I'm at training, I, I sometimes I ask myself, why am I training so well? And then I go in the game, and then I don't know, like maybe I, I start to crack under pressure a little bit, but it wasn't until I realised I was actually putting that pressure on myself by actually being trying to be serious all the time and um, yeah, and then it wasn't until I actually started to realise I was like, fuck man, I just, if I can just 
just be me and do what makes me happy, then yeah, man, you know, why do I have to change the way I the way I think going into a game, you know? Like, oh, go, 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 go. I was pretty shocked when I got my debut try again. Oh, not debut game, sorry. It was my second or third game against um, England that I scored my first try. And uh, yeah, I was pretty, pretty shocked, especially in Twickenham, you know. Um, it doesn't happen quite often. So yeah, and no, it, uh, it was definitely an amazing uh, moment for me.